Hello YouTubers, thank you so much for checking out this video. For those of you that don't know us, I'm Trish. I'm Anna. We're with Just Dance, and in this video series, we're gonna be giving you tips to improve your posture, frame, connection, technique, and musicality of the common patterns in the polka. And in this video, we're gonna be working on posture, frame, and connection. So let's go ahead and get to it. First, we're gonna demonstrate the turning basic, and then we'll go ahead and get into the tips for today. All right, so Anna's going to be leading, and I'm going to be following. And we have one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. We're going to turn around and do that back towards you. We have one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. All right, so uh, the first topic we're gonna go into is our posture and frame. Just a reminder with posture, always keep the head back over the shoulders, shoulders down and out over the ribs, and then ribs are flat and they're sitting right over top of the hips where in the, help, the pelvis is going to be in a neutral position. And with the frame, you wanna keep it in front of you as if you were holding a ball and try to avoid squeezing the shoulder blades which results in pulling the arms behind the body yes <laughs> and then also when you dance you have a little bit of a body action or body shaping to help you get around so when you go forward you have a little bit going to the left and then to the right right so uh, what you want to focus on with that body shaping that she was talking about is even though your body is going to be turning right and left as you dance your forward or backward chasses, your feet and hips should remain facing the direction you're traveling. In other words, what we want to avoid is turning the body, hips, and feet all at the same time and the same amount. That's going to result in uh, slowing you down and making it difficult to keep up with the pace of the country polka. So when you watch us dance that, um, we're going to kind of go on a sideways movement here. You can see how uh, when we go slowly, how Anna's body is going to initiate the movement. So we turn our body, but our feet stay straight. And we'll do that again here, just dancing the basic. We turn the body, the feet stay straight. Now by doing that, we want to focus on keeping our frame nice and still not rigid but we don't want it to be bouncing around or tipping the body like this as that becomes a little distracting and it's too much movement so we'll dance the whole pattern again and i want you to focus on how the frame is nice and quiet but the body is rotating we have one and two three and four five and six seven and eight one and two three and four five and six, seven and eight, okay? So then our next tip is on the connection. Shaping is part of the connection as well. It kind of all works together when you're talking about frame. But uh, the tip I wanna go into next for connection specifically is understanding your role as um, in the partnership. So when we're dancing, we have inside and outside of turns. When Anna's um, leading, she's going forward first, right? So she's on the outside of the turn, which means I'm on the inside of the turn. And when I go forward, I need to realize that I'm on the outside of the turn and my, my leader is on the inside of the turn. The reason that's important is because whoever is on the outside has further to travel than the other person. So just having an awareness of your role is going to help you be a better partner when you're dancing. So notice, let's go over here. Notice how when we turn the first part of the basic, how I have to shorten my steps a little bit so that I can make it easier for my partner to get around me. So we have one and two. I can feel because of her shaping and she's rotating me around that she needs to pass me. So I'm gonna shorten my steps to make it easier on her. I'm still going side together side. But notice the size of her side to the other side and mine are not the same. We'll show you just those three steps again. So we're about to turn and we go. She goes bigger than me. And now we would continue around and she's going backwards. 
So now when the role is reversed, and I'm going back around her, so we'll do one basic, and then she moves out of the way, because she's still leading. I have further to go than her, so I'm gonna go bigger, and she's gonna go smaller. So again, just making sure that you have an awareness of your role in the partnership is going to make a huge difference with your shaping and your connection. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Um, Anna, go ahead and talk about yours again. The first we talked about was the importance of the frame and keeping it in front of you. You never want to pull your arms too far back. Keep it in front like you're holding a ball. And then you have a little bit of a body shaping. And you'll, uh, when you're going to the left, your body will shape toward the left. And when you go to the right, it'll shape toward the right. And then uh, along with that, we talked about making sure that when the body is turning left and right, that the hips and feet remain uh, in the same direction you're traveling. So they should not turn with your body. They're gonna be working in opposition, which helps with balance. And then also we talked about our connection and um, using that shaping to help guide your partner and then having an awareness of inside and outside of the turn so that you can have a better awareness of what's going on within the dance so that you can be a better partner for your partner. So again, we're gonna demonstrate that pattern a few times. Go ahead and try it with us. We're gonna go down and back and then we'll go um, side to side so you can see from all different angles. And one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. We have one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And we'll show you over here. And one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. All right, so that was your turning basic right and left in the country polka. As always, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And if you have suggestions for other videos you would like to see, again, let us know there. And don't forget to hit the subscribe bell at the top so you can get notified for the videos that we post on a regular basis. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.